So today we are going to look at the impact of uh, social networking on uh, individuals lives in general uh, not only individuals but also when it comes to uh, businesses because businesses are also making use of uh, social networking a lot these days to reach out to you know their prospective customers so uh, let's have a look at that uh, you know how social networking is impacting lives of individuals uh, as well as you know organizations uh, when so when we talk about impact it is not only about how it is positively impacting the lives but of course if there are any uh, you know negatives or what are the negative ways in which social networking is impacting people's lives so to begin with uh, when we think about social networking we do know that it is uh, it is a platform that allows people to communicate with each other very easily there are multiple platforms that are available for people uh, to communicate and uh, the good thing is that when it comes to communicating over social networking it is not only that you are able to uh, communicate through text but there are many other forms uh, of uh, information presentation i would say that people can make use of when it comes to communicating with each other such as you know you can always uh, share pictures you can share videos you can share audio all right uh, you can make use of uh, uh, you know graphical uh, things like you know uh, 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 emojis and stuff right that you know gives a gives a uh, you know uh, a touch that you know you you can describe your feelings through it or something like that so you know there, there are multiple ways of expression that you can make use uh, uh, of when it comes to social networking uh, not only that you can get in touch with uh, people you know such as your family and friends uh, it doesn't really matter which part of the world they are in you can you are able to get in touch with them instantly and uh, you know you can get to find out what's happening around in their lives you can share about what you're doing so you know uh, it's it's a it's it's like you know you feel as if even if you're not really face to face in contact with people uh, there are means whereby you feel that you know uh, they are part of your life because uh, you are able to get in touch with them and communicate with them so readily maybe so many times in a day it's not it's not about you know after a few hours or maybe after a few days but just very readily whenever you feel like you know it's just like if the person is around you although the person is living you know somewhere far away so the thing is that's how you know social networking has has made people uh, you know communicate and so readily available for, for each other uh, for for just about everything sharing what, whatever you would like to share okay having said this it also gives you the opportunity to be able to meet new people make new friends uh, in that of course one has to be a little uh, a little careful regarding whom you are getting in touch with so you have to uh, you know think about you have to very carefully think about uh, any person who whom you do not know uh, you know or you do not know the past of or history if you want to make friends with such people you want to you know get in touch with them uh, just be sure that those people are authentic reliable people because you can meet many strangers on social networking who may not be what they portray to be okay so this is also one aspect which uh, one should keep in mind when you know making new friends new contacts on on social media or social networking um well people can share ideas and thoughts not only that you can chit chat about what's you know commonly happening around in your life but if you would like to discuss about any issue you have many people around you that you can get in touch with and uh, you can maybe share your thoughts and ideas or opinions about certain things and maybe you can uh, get their ideas and thoughts and that probably can help you in uh, 
and, and whatever it is that if there's a problem that you're facing or whatever, so you know you can get you can discuss, you can get advice, you can get a direction. So people feel that it's uh, it, it, you know it it uh, allows them to uh, uh, to actually share their problems as well, wherever they they feel that you know they they need to be uh, they need to be guided or advised. So you know people people feel that they have the opportunity available to do that. Okay, um, there's another aspect to it as well. Uh, let me get my stylus. Okay, some people feel that social networking has, you know, a negative impact as well. Negative, negative impact on their lives as well. In what way, uh, when it comes to your health, particularly your mental health, all right? Uh, so how do you think social networking uh, may affect your mental health? Any idea? Okay, all right. Uh, that could be one aspect. All right. Uh, the the viewpoint that has been given here uh, it suggests that when people uh, when it is very easy for people to sort of get in touch around with the people around them, you know, friends, family, acquaintances, all sorts of people are sharing everything about what is happening in their lives, all right? And uh, well, that's the way it is, whether we like it or we don't, but uh, somehow people are not very particular about or they are not very thoughtful about what should they share and what they should not share. It's, it's very instinctive, you know? Uh, something comes to your mind and you, you know, you right away you put it on social media because you would like people to know about it without really giving it a, a deep thought or a sensitive thought that should this be uh, shared or not or well, uh, something that is making me happy. Uh, what if uh, it's, a, it's a cause of concern for certain other people? Like, you know, uh, the, the aspect that has been given here is that uh, you know, we do know that some uh, some people around us are are uh, financially very strong. Uh, they are very well off, and whatever is happening around their lives, uh, if they keep on sharing it, then you know, people who uh, probably do not have uh, that kind of a luxury available or resources, they uh, might feel that they are lagging behind in some way. You know, in terms of what their standing is, in terms of uh, you know, society and too many people sharing too many such, uh, you know, posts or uh, uh, achievements, what, 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 whatever it is that is ha happening around them uh, may make other people, you know, uh, sort of start thinking that constantly they, they might feel that, you know, uh, why aren't they like that or why can't they you know, have all those luxuries or facilities available as well in life. So it may have some sort of a detrimental effect on, on your mind because you would, you would constantly be in a state of comparison. Yeah. And uh, uh, instead of looking at what you have and what you, sh what you should feel contented with, you are constantly looking at people who are better than you and sort of kind of blaming you all the time, your, yourself all the time that, well, uh, I, I should be here or I need to be like that, which is, which uh, generally does have a ne negative impact on, on your life if you constantly start thinking in one direction. So this is uh, what he talks about here. Okay, another aspect that uh, has been highlighted here is uh,
people hiding behind an anonymous profile. which allows them to post just about anything which may be harmful, okay, Harm making harmful comments, which may result in, you know, hurting people. And uh, you, you, you can say that, well, uh, it could be a type of cyberbullying, you know, it would be considered a cyberbullying. The term has been used here. I'll just highlight it. So cyberbullying is what, where you, where you sort of, uh, pass out remarks, you say things, uh, being uh, insensitive towards people's feelings, you hurt them in some way or the other, and then you constantly do that. Now, when you constantly do that, uh, people uh, can take it to a certain point, but you know, uh, everybody is human at the end of the day. If you uh, touch upon a certain very sensitive aspect of their life or, you know, them as a person, then they may not like it beyond a point. And, uh, uh, you know, that might disturb them. So what happens is that in the past or maybe, you know, we keep on hearing about things where people because of uh, bullying go in a shell or uh, they, they become very upset about, uh, about life and they, they do not remain happy. Uh, they uh, appear to be lost, you know, at times because, uh, and, you know, sometimes they are not even, uh, they do not even talk about it to anybody. So they're just keeping everything to themselves because they are too uh, worried about uh, what would happen if, if I share it with somebody, maybe a friend or, 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 or somebody in the family, what would they think about me? You know, so that kind of a thing. So it, it can have a very, very negative impact on, on individuals, particularly when it comes to uh, children of a tender age. Elders, Mature people, people who have entered their practical lives have a different way of handling things because they, they have the kind of maturity to deal with uh, any negativity that is being spread around them. So they know how to deal with it. But growing children, growing minds may not always uh, be able to handle that kind of uh, a pressure or that kind of uh, a behavior. So it may impact their lives in a negative way. And to make, make matters worse, if they, if they do not share it with anybody around because, uh, you know, of the reason that I just told you, then it may just, uh, you know, uh, make them very feel, feel very sad all the times. And uh, they might start thinking that, you know, why am I the one who is uh, a recipient of all this negativity and so on. So, you know, it may impact in a very bad way. So this is also one of the aspects. Okay, another aspect that has been discussed here. So, you know, this, this cyberbullying thing that we just discussed is a, is a, is a negative impact. The, the one that we discussed before it, you know, the, the generic basic, uh, I would say, a benefit of making use of social media or social networking is where you have this opportunity to, to, to get in touch with people and, and stay connected all the time, share thoughts and ideas, get opinions, get advice and so on. So here, cyberbullying, uh, is a negative impact, has a negative impact. Further up, another aspect that has been, uh, uh, that is being talked about here is that social networking has generally created a, a sense of immediacy. Now, what is that? Let me highlight it. You know, a sense of immediacy. Yeah, you know, uh, immediacy is like, as, as you're saying, that you want to just hurry up with everything. And the patience is, is going low, you know, probably with every passing day. And uh, uh, people just want to get on with things and they are not willing to wait the time that, uh, you know, certain things need to be given or certain things will take to be done properly. So we want to do things properly, yet at the same time, we are not willing to spend the right amount of time that is needed to do those things. So that is what this, this sense of immediacy is all about. Uh, it, has, it has a negative impact on your, uh, uh, on your concentration span as well. 
Now, when we talk about sense of immediacy, what can we relate to it? You know, generally when we keep in mind the social media practice. Well, you would have noticed that uh, it's not that we are connected on just one social media platform or social networking platform. There are what tens of them. And almost everybody is, uh, is registered on at least two to, th two to three, if not more. So what does that mean? Once you are on one platform, very quickly, you can, you know, with the, the, just the touch of a button on your, uh, on your device, you can be on another platform and then yet, yet you can be on, on another platform. So, you know, switching between these platforms is just very, so very easy. Also, while you are on a certain platform, posts, all sorts of posts are just flashing by your eyes just like that. You know, you are constantly swiping up, up and down and you are going over new things, new information. Uh, it, is, it is being sent to your brain so quickly and you have started to uh, learn to register uh, new stuff that your brain is looking at, that it has, you know, your brain has started thinking in that way. That, okay, well, I've seen this. Okay, now there should be something else. Now that there should be something else. You know, that kind of a thing. So, uh, that way of uh, acquiring information or information, let's not, let's not say acquiring information because acquiring would be where, you know, uh, you uh, want to get some information yourself, something that, something that is there at the back of your mind that, okay, I'm looking for this. But this is like random, random as, as it is coming to you and you are registering all this, your brain is registering all this <clears throat> and I mean, you do not know what's going to, what's going to pop up next. So in our everyday life as well, when we go about doing certain things, probably we have started associating that kind of immediacy with those things as well. You know that, you know, anything or everything that I'm doing should be done, you know, very quickly. I should not be required to spend a lot of time on it and, you know, let's get done with this and move on, move on to something else and then move on to something else and so on. So, you know, uh, concentration has gone low. The concentration span has gone low as I was uh, just talking about it. Uh, the, the term has been used here as well has resulted in very little concentration. Okay. No concentration would mean no focus. If you're not, if you're not concentrating, if you're not focusing, then your brain is not assimilating the things around as well as your brain should. And we do know that this has had a very, very negative impact, particularly again, I would talk about growing children, school going children that, uh, are going through a very important phase in their lives where you know uh, their mental development is going on they are uh, they are studying and they are being introduced to so many different subjects that have so much to offer to them and there's so much learning in in all that so what is happening is uh, we are not willing to wait the time to let all that information which is very important settle in properly yeah and when the focus is not there, we might know that, okay, yeah, there, there, there's something that I did, but I am not understanding it in the right context or the kind of detail that is required to be assimilated about whatever it is that, that I'm learning or whatever it is that is being taught in class, maybe I'm not assimilating it the way I should. Yeah. So this is, this is particularly, I, I would believe having a negative impact on the generation that has that, that that is born and is growing in this age of of the internet and all these smartphones and stuff and with having access to the internet and with that access to all these you know social media platforms and and whatnot you know we can include gaming we can include all those sorts of things uh, blogs is a part of you know social networking and so on micro blogs and stuff all these forms of communication. Okay, let's move on.
Okay, social networking has had a large impact on business or businesses. Businesses we do know these days are making use of uh, social networking actually in a very effective way. And uh, in social networking, they have found a tool that makes it very easy for them to reach out to a very large you know, set of audience which was never possible before this. Yes, uh, we can draw a comparison of social networking even with a website that you would host on the internet. Now, a website is a dedicated platform that any business would establish online that, uh, you know, through which they can, they can reach out to people or customers at large. But that is subject to people knowing the website address, then knowing about their business and the fact that you have an online presence in the form of a website. And then they need to know the URL or the website address to visit and then to sort of go over what is it that you have to offer, what products or services do you have to offer. Having said this, social networking has made this even easier. You know. That, that all that arrangement or all, all those steps, I would say, that people would need to take before they could get onto that uh, website, you know, that, that path has been shortened by use of social networking or social media. There will not be a lot of people who will be visiting the specific website on the internet, but everybody is on social media or everybody is a part of social networking. So if you put your presence on social media or you make your business become a part of any social networking platform, then uh, your, you can target your audience or customers through a platform that is hands-on with people all the time. Okay, no specific, uh, you know, intention needed to sit on the computer or maybe any other mobile device to visit a particular website. People, say for instance, are browsing through the social media, flipping over, swiping and so on, may be randomly shown your business. And if you show any interest uh, in it, then it all starts from there because you see, they would start uh, once they know that, you know, you, uh, uh, you, you had a look at what their business is about, they would know who you are and they would start contacting you with everything that they have to offer. So the whole idea is that businesses, uh, for businesses, it has become very easy now uh, and very quick and I would say even less costly compared to maybe making a, a proper platform like, uh, you know, a proper website to get in, you know, to reach out to people and to make them know about your business. So the more the people that come to know about your business, uh, you will be able to gather more audience that have an in interest in what you have to offer. And of course, that can always translate into, into making purchases and hence, you know, you are getting business. Another aspect that has been discussed here is uh, that some people feel that uh, this impact that businesses have been able to create by making use of uh, social networking is kind of deteriorating a bit. Uh, have, they have mentioned it here. So the impact a business can have using social networking is starting to deteriorate. Now what is the reason behind this? The reason behind it is this that uh, we have heard, we have heard this statement that, you know, too much of anything is bad. If something is happening too often or something is being done too often, then uh, it may have a, instead of having a positive impact, it may have a negative impact. And we can look at this in that context. Now, since things have become so easy for businesses, there are many parallel businesses who are doing the same thing or who are involved in, um, in the same practice, I would say. Hence, people know that, okay, well, this is one business that is offering 
these products or these services, but there are about 10 others. So they must just may not, when, when they come across yours, they may not just stop and give the due attention or time or importance to what you have to offer because they, at the back of their mind, they, they do know that, okay, if it's not this business, well, there are 10 others and I can go there and I can go there and I can go there. Yeah. So what is happening is that all this online presence of these businesses uh, by using social networking as a platform may be backfiring in a negative way because of the, of the options that are now available to people. So people are not really willing to give the due importance or attention to any particular type of business because they do know that there are 10 others that, uh, so if, if, if you are not getting what you want from one, there are 10 others. So, you know, actually people are not really willing to spend the kind of time and give the kind of attention to your business that you want them to give. You see, that kind of a thing. Is this, uh, is this point making sense to you? Yeah. Okay, great. All right. Other than businesses, do other types of organizations uh, are making uh, a positive or, you know, I would say an impactful use of social networking? In some cases, the answer is yes, such as, you know, uh, government departments alerting people about uh, about uh, any uh, any dangerous weather conditions coming up you know informing people beforehand regarding something that is going to happen which they need to be warned against so that people can take timely action or preventive measures uh, in time and are not impacted or affected by whatever natural calamity or you know some any any disaster situations that that is uh, expected to happen maybe in few hours or so. Well, just imagine had these types of platforms not been there, which allow information to be disseminated very, very quickly. If there were only other forms, then they might not have had that kind of an impact when it comes to communicating something important very quickly. Okay, things would take time. Uh, it would take time for television to reach out to people and distribute, it, distribute such information or communicate you know, such information or maybe any other form. Maybe print media cannot do that at all. But this is one way where, uh, as I said, since people are hooked up to it all the time, there is every possibility or likelihood that people uh, across or people at large will get to know about any such uh, incident that is uh, uh, that is expected to happen very quickly. And then another, another thing that we can add to this is that if I am the first one or maybe I am one of the first ones to come to know about something, I'll spread it like wild, wildfire on social media. Yeah, that term use a term, you know, things or posts going viral. So with, with that aspect, you know, I, with, with, with just a click of a button or a few, a, a few options, I can share something with people at large just like that. So if I have come to know about something and I have, uh, I, I have uh, in, my, uh, in my list of my social uh, uh, networking contacts, I have about what, 200 people. If I share that post, it reaches out to those 200 people just like that. Now you that in those 200 people, say for instance, everyone has further 150, 200, 300, 400 contacts. They share it further, how virally it can just spread like that. That is another aspect that, you know, makes social networking uh, communicate things so very quickly. All right. So this is, this is the aspect that has been discussed here. If you, if you look at it, it says, um, Social networking has had a positive impact on organizations because it allows them to distribute important information on a large scale. For example, there is a natural disaster within a country. The police and the government can use social networking to distribute vital information about how people can keep themselves safe or get to safety. Like for example, you know, uh, an expectation of a flood coming in. 
something like that okay or maybe uh, a large uh, scale fire erupting in an area all right okay so uh, it can save people time it can make uh, it can warn them uh, well in advance so they, they can take precautionary measures of course which can help at the end of the day which can uh, really help saving a lot of lives all right so we, we can see the very serious impact that it can have you know very serious positive impact that it can have on uh, on you know society at large i would say all right let's quickly now have a look at the advantages and the disadvantages as they have been listed here in this table so i would very quickly go over these uh, let's have a look at uh, the advantages first starting from uh, the first one allows communication to occur on a global scale between individuals businesses and organizations a fairly simple point right next allows people to feel included as they can share thoughts and ideas with those who share similar opinions you know there's a, there's a sense of inclusivity that you you, are, you belong here you're part of the society people share you know same opinions and thoughts as you do gives you more confidence in your own way of thinking and your thought process that kind of a thing okay next allows organizations to distribute important information to people that could be life saving in critical situations so this is something that we just discussed allows some individuals to make a living writing an online blog that others enjoy reading so we know the importance of blogs and micro blogs these days when it comes to people uh, communicating information or sharing uh, their own thoughts and ideas and beliefs with other people and then also getting their feedback on it you know you can start any topic and uh, then maybe you know get an advice or a direction as to what to do all right so this is another great benefit next we have allows people to seek advice or support on various issues including technical support so this this technical support there's healthcare this can result in an improved level of customer service and care so the thing is well when it comes to healthcare technical support uh wherever you're living in the world such services uh will always will always be limited around you you know such as physical facilities a physical healthcare center or maybe technical support but when you are when you are on the internet and particularly you know you're part of this this uh, this uh, whole social networking uh, platforms then you have multiple options available yeah which where you can get advice from if whether it is related to any technical issue that you would like to discuss related to anything that that you are involved with or something related to you know advice on health or for that matter education it could be it could be even related to uh i would say legal matters yeah so so many of these areas where you have you have vast options available to 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 explore okay and to get an opinion or advice from so you're not kind of limited to a certain small set of people or i would say sources that you can get in touch with provides a stream of entertainment for people well people making all these uh, funny videos like tiktoks and and blogs and what not also uh, uh sharing other things which uh, which are a source of entertainment maybe somebody's uh, uh somebody's skilled at something and you are you record a video on it and you share with people that's that spreads happiness or that generally uh i would say uh, generates interest in people and they they would like to watch it so of course social media is the best platform uh, to be able to reach out to people with that okay can expose people to news stories that they otherwise may not be aware of so 
news channels and news agencies is also one of the you know one type of organization that are making uh, a very you know uh, very effective i would say not always in a positive sense but they make making an effective use of the social networking platform to spread the news around you know giving quick updates to people which otherwise may not get to them as quickly as you know through social networking all these all these news new, you know news channels have their 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 uh, online presence and uh, you know their, their news feeds and and updates are are accessible to uh, to people very readily you know compared to maybe television or any other platform let's quickly go over the disadvantages as well okay uh, so well this one people can feel overwhelmed by all the information and communication they encounter so all this information that is coming to the, to them so readily and at such such a fast pace that you know sometimes we feel overwhelmed by the amount of information that is coming to us and we 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 do not know as to you know what to what to see what not to see what is true what is not and so on all right so all those things some people can feel excluded and feel that everyone seems to have a better life than they do so this is one aspect that we discussed you know very early at the start of uh, the discussion in this topic uh, where you know people start comparing themselves socially with other people but particularly if people are better than them some organizations could falsely represent certain situations and influence people's opinions uh and uh because maybe they they might be built on uh, censored information so social networking has this great ability to be able to shape people's opinions as well uh mold the opinions as well change the opinions yeah uh and uh you you must have heard about this that if even if you uh keep on uh you know lying about something too frequently then people would start believing believing it to be true you know they would say that well if so so many people are saying the same thing and in the same way then it is bound to be like this what if it is it is a lie in first place and it it is not what it actually is so this this is how we, how the you know social networking can impact people's uh, way of thinking and uh, their own thought process in a negative way as well okay social networking influence influencers can sometimes lead people to think or do things that are harmful such as over exercise or spend too much on expensive clothing okay so uh, people who are die hard followers of some uh, content creators follow them blindly and they they like to portray them uh, in their everyday life in so many ways you know this this uh, tiktok thing has resulted in uh, in uh, it has claimed many lives you know because people people have acted in on tiktok and performed certain acts that were very dangerous and that resulted uh, in in you know them losing their lives so that's a very dangerous aspect of it so it is also very important uh, with all these uh, content creators influencers to make sure that whatever it is that they are reaching out to people with does not at the end of the at the end of the day uh, cause any harm to them yeah so you need to be sensitive about it okay contributions to platforms such as forums can often be made by people who may not be qualified to give advice or support this could lead to a person acting on incorrect advice we were talking about forums you know uh, a while ago so if you give people the the chance to be able to communicate just about uh, anything or or you know share their thoughts or ideas about anything freely so people even who are not uh, who are not experienced in 
in uh, advising on something they are not professionals in that capacity may share a, share an advice which is which is a false advice and it may have sorry yeah which which could lead to uh, people you know taking that false advice and acting upon it and later on finding out that it was not the right advice and it, it impacts them negatively okay very quickly last few and then we'll wind up it may be causing people's attention span to decrease we've spoken about this new stories can be sensationalized and falsely reported so you know changing minds and opinions in a negative way it allows a level of anonymity that can encourage users to participate in bad or sometimes illegal behavior because you know people at the back of their mind feel that when they are on social media or on a social networking platform uh, their identity is concealed in a certain way and it will be difficult uh, for other people to know who they are so they they, they feel sort of a, a kind of liberty in uh, doing negative things knowing that well nobody knows who they are so if they spread any negativity or harm other people in some way or the other such as we, we were just talking about cyber bullying then they do it with uh, with any caution in mind or any you know they know that okay there's nobody out there who's going to come and stop them or control them so that that kind of a sense of a liberty or anonymity allows them to maybe at times go overboard with whatever it is that they're doing and then of course impact a lot of people in a negative way so these are all the negative aspects that one can associate with uh, social networking all right so i hope it is all clear all right that's great